Hey guys, Thunder E here and the Galaxy A80 is in-house. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like this video, and let's get in to see what gaming on this device is all about. So finally, Samsung has released the Galaxy A80. I have it here. It's a massive phone, 6.7 inches, big display, no notches, no bezels, looks really good, really nice. Now you're wondering, where's the camera? Well, it's a slide out rotating camera. Yes, it slides up, it rotates, uh, giving you uh, three camera sensors, a 48 megapixel sensor, half inch, which you've seen in other devices like the OnePlus, also an eight megapixel ultra wide, and a time of flight sensor to give you better bokeh and also bokeh video, which is also pretty nice. You can get that for your front and your rear. That's pretty cool. Now, we care about gaming on this device, so what do we have in here? Now, a few months back, we checked out the Samsung, the, the Snapdragon uh, 730G, which is from Qualcomm. Uh, this, is, this device houses a Snapdragon 730 processor. It's a really good processor. We've seen what the 730G could do in terms of gaming. It ran games really well. So I expect this to do well in terms of gaming. We're gonna be checking out a bunch of games in this video so you guys will get a good idea. Uh, but one of the cool things about this device though is that it allows you to capture your gameplay. So you can record that off the bat as well. So you can do that while you're gaming. You're gonna see uh, gameplay mixed within this video. Now, the, uh, the Galaxy A80 has a mono speaker at the bottom. It's not a stereo speaker. It does have Dolby Atmos, so that's also built in there. Uh, you, go, you do have a USB Type-C port with 25 watt fast charging. So that's pretty fast and a 3700 milliamp battery. Now there's no headphone jack. Uh, there's also no micro SD expansion. Uh, you do have 128 gigabytes of storage and eight gigs of RAM. So our gaming should be on, but I love the way the display looks. It is just massive it's big now you guys are going you're talking too much let's get in and jump into the gameplay then we'll talk about uh heating audio and how well it performed in all the games we checked out
Alright, so the A80 handled the games really well. I mean, uh, each game we played, starting with Asphalt 9, for instance, uh, at its max setting, that ran really well, very smooth. Um, also, moving to, uh, to PUBG, which we spent a lot of time on that game. Now, the one thing you notice, it didn't have HDR functionality set coming soon. Uh, that may be because, of course, the display doesn't support HDR, so that, that's just something that's a limitation there, and not necessarily the processor, but at, at HD, it ran really well, ran really smooth, everything just worked out well game, gaming-wise. I also had a lot of kills this time, guys, so you should be quite happy. But I think this device really did well in terms of uh, processing and running games. Now, in terms of temperatures, we got about, uh, I believe, 98 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, or about 36 degrees Celsius, uh, which is still good. It doesn't have any special cooling or anything like that. It ran a little bit warm, but it was fine. Again, you've got 8 gigs of RAM, that 730 processor, even though it's not the 730G, runs really well. I like that with it. So I think it's really cool the way this actually handled gaming all the way through. Now, in terms of, of course, sound, it was really loud, but of course it's a mono speaker. So if your fingers cover the speakers, yeah, tough out of luck there. That's just the way it is. I think this device is really solid for gaming. Just the landscape itself is quite big. You've got a huge real estate of 6.7 inches. Your games will run really well. And I think if you're picking this up, because it's priced about $650 right now on eBay um, and about 579 pounds if you're in the UK, it's a relatively solid device to handle. Plus you've got camera that does night mode as well and a few other features, which we'll check out on another video. But hopefully this gives you an idea of what the Galaxy A80 does in gaming, as well as the Snapdragon 730 processor, because that's a new processor. That's This is the first device we're seeing it uh, actually in hands of people in terms of functionality and fit and all that fun stuff. Uh, so if you have any questions or any comments, guys, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.